Oh my bitches, hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be reacting to Dickinson, Season 1, Episode 2. Yo, the love you were giving me, you gave me on my first reaction was insane. I am so grateful for you guys. I mean, obviously I never doubted you guys for a second. I knew if you guys recommended me something, I would enjoy it. And turns out I became obsessed with Emma Sue. Is that the ship name? Emma Sue, that's their ship name. I'm obsessed with them. I need to know everything about them. I want to, I need to go on this ride with you guys. So I'm excited. Um, oh, the first episode was... It was literally chef's kiss. I loved it so much. Um, so pretty much her poem is going to get published. And her dad didn't approve. He was like having a fit. And then he's, I think at the end that he was either drunk or I don't know. But he was like, please don't marry and, and leave me. And he was like, you know. And he like passed out, whatever. But she has vision of... She like in her mind, like she sees death. Who's like Wiz Khalifa? I love that. But like, oh, and Sue is marrying her brother for now, for now. But I'm here for the I'm here for the drama. So, anyways, let's just get right into episode two. Let's go. I love how they do the text on the. Sc I love I love it. It's amazing. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yo fucking with me at this point you're fucking with me man don't that is a dream it's a dream it's a it's like it's a dream right no way they're in bed or no no it's too early it's too soon but also it's not but also no nah, she's i don't know what's happening it's 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 a dream don't Sorry. do that it's creepy <laughs> well i'll never do it again since you won't be sleeping here anymore are you telling me to go back to the boy but it's real just saying you rather get married i'm dying are you fucking kidding me? No, it's real! Since when? It's real. It's real. I thought it was like a dream, but like, because I think they're best friends. So like, you know, you sleep in the same bed, like your besties, whatever. Mm, for now. No, but like, oh, are you watching me sleep? Because she's trying to take a mental picture in her head. Because this could be the last time, but it won't be. I manifest it. But like, oh, the drama. I can't sleep with you next to me. <laughs> Why not? We're fine. In her loins. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rumbles. Do you mean they snore? <laughs> <laughs> they both turn their heads at the same time. I can't believe I'm whipped. I cannot believe I'm this whipped. And this is episode two. I can't. They literally turn their heads at the same. Don't. Don't even. I, <laughs> sorry, like, no, I'm not even sorry, I'm not sorry, I'm embracing it, I'm embracing them in my life, they look, they turned, sorry, what's this rumbling, like, is it, they want each other so badly, I'm telling you. I wish I could just marry you. <laughs> You'd be a terrible husband, but I bet I'd look good in a suit. Oh, she would. Catch Hawker, oh my god. No, what has happened? You, I was not ready for this scene, and it's the beginning of the episode. I'm not okay. I'm not the hands, and she would look good in the suit. Kate Bishop, hello. Kate Bishop is calling. Pick up the phone. <sighs> Sounds nice. They are everything to me. I think you a fuck. <gasps> Why we got a maid? <laughs> oh yeah, they got a maid, right? <laughs> Was that not the sweetest opening you've ever seen in your life, man? Lord, I am going to die. I would like you to all plan my funeral in advance. Also, the brother is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Like Emma Sue, let them thrive. I will gladly take the brother away. Like I'll do my civic duty as a gay man to take this man away from the women. <laughs> So the women can thrive together romantically. I will take, I will take, what's his name? Austin away. It's fine. I will do that for you. Mother, what part of we got a maid, don't you understand? <laughs> She's such a mood. I beg your pardon? <laughs> the whole reason we got Maggie was so I don't have to do chores. I suppose it'll have to be me. Oh, no, madam, don't be upset. You got a maid for a reason, I girl. I take care of everything. We'll just sit down and relax. Yeah, but see, the mother doesn't know how to just be on her own, like, be by herself. Like, she doesn't know. She's always so used to doing the housework and the, she's about housewife. She doesn't know how to, like, stop and just 
relax. Like, she doesn't know how to do that. She, so maybe this will be a good thing for the mum. Maybe she'll find her own passion. I don't know. I hope so. But, like, it's not all about the housewife. I'm just saying. She doesn't know how to relax. Yeah. When a leaf falls in the fireplace exactly. upstairs, she has a panic attack. A leaf fell in the fireplace? Oh, Mom. Good morning, my beloved. <laughs> how did you sleep, my darling? Let's see what's in the paper. It's a famous geologist giving a lecture today. He just got back from a lab on Mount Vesuvius. Was her poem being posted? Published? On a volcano? I'll go. No. You let Emily go. I believe you know why not. I had the hot water, Edward. Why can't I go to the college? I wrote about it in my essay on the proper place of women. You did read my essay, didn't you? Oh, God. Here we go. Skin uh, Look, an education prepares one for a career. And the career of a woman is in the home. Well, no, we it's not. To learn about volcanoes so that I can entertain guests. When they School is boring. Wouldn't be boring for me because my brain works. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. Besides, we have plans. Plans for what? Girl stuff. Can they go we'll together? Mrs. Packard had helped to the volcano. Husband's things. Can't forget about our little ritual. What ritual? Just this thing we do where we both eat a chestnut at the ring of the Vesper bell. Okay. Just me and Sue. Chestnut at the Vesper bell. You can't stop. <laughs> Haven't I been a good wife to you? Man, this is... I actually... I just I just didn't think this show would be, like, funny. Like, I told you I knew nothing about... The, I knew nothing. And, like, it's funny. Like, just the way they just say they... And Haley's great. Ella is great. Like, I literally love... I just... I, I love this. I hate, you know, that the women can't do anything. They're being taught to be a housewife. They're not allowed to learn. Like, I hate that, obviously. But, like, Emily is gonna come and change the whole world. I'm ready for it. Of course, unless you just think we need Maggie because I'm not good enough. Oh, see, she thinks she's worthless. No, no honey. I promise you. She's not learning her proper place. And getting a maid is hardly going to help. It's just the kitchen was kind of... my thing. Maybe she can find something else now. She can branch out and find her passion. Yeah. I mean, you may as well. Girl, but she doesn't have to do that. But she will, she will, I hope. Jane Humphrey is a snob, and she's in love with Austin. From what I hear, a lot of girls really? in the your brother. Mm, yeah. He's marrying Sue. Emily, is that so? Oh, sorry, I forgot it's a secret. Oh, no. Oh, I it's a... I keep a secret. Don't you worry. I don't think I can afford you. She might not even go through with it. Emily! <laughs> <laughs> but my aunt used to live there. Did she move? No. She died. I everyone, see a real volcano. Like, everyone dies. I feel so sorry for Sue, man. But it's such like she's dead, or like my family's dead. Like, honey, she's lost to everybody. She has Emily now. No, but like my heart breaks for her. How do I look? You look immaculate. Handsome. I study volcanoes in a lab on Mount. <laughs> Sue, I have an idea. What? Sneak into that lecture. They're gonna dress up as men. And like, I'm t I am full. Oh, that's risky, but I'm full down. I'm full down for it. Oh, it's gonna cause so much drama. Let's go. Do it. You may as well. You may as well. You look good in a suit, Haley. You know you do. Let's go. That's silly. We can't. I'm scared that if they teach us how the world works, we'll figure out how to take over. Yeah, exactly. So true. Mm. Mm. What you say, boy? You're trying to play? Look like at them the being all cute. Oh, oh. I love them! Sorry. Oh wow! They were, they're really. No, but why did I freaking rock that? Why did I look better than every man on the show? Like, they're in. They look so good. How are the lesbians doing? Because, like, I feel like as you've watched this the first time, you would have collapsed. How are you handling yourselves? Because, like, I pray for you. Like, seriously, how are y'all surviving? <laughs> You look so good. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Emily Dickinson? No. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Then who are you, young man? Please don't tell me one. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, bless. Oh, thanks, George. Hey, Hitchcock's the best. No, but why is George adorable? I feel like he's adorable, right? Like, I feel like he's re like, it's been two episodes. I'm not gonna, like, get my hopes up. But, like, he seems like a really nice guy and he, like, supports you know, Emily, you know, poetry, like, he supports her, and I love that, he's like, I'm not gonna snitch, I hope he doesn't snitch, like, it's early days, but, like, he's, you know, 
I love that for... I really love George. He's actually adorable. He's my child. For now. That could change depending on future actions. But so far, we like what we see. You're gonna love it. You weird, beautiful boy. <laughs> you weird, beautiful boy? Pressure beneath us. The building. We could sense it. But we could not control. It's the seething, boiling substance known as magma. And Why is this okay? It's just me. Or this whole like presentation, like I live like I'm reading between the lines a little bit. I'm just like, and the way the professor guy is like conducting it, I'm just like, okay, it's I'm probably reading so too way too into this, but like, okay, I'm I'm okay. About angry man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. I love it. <laughs> the guy's like, maybe the guy's like gay panic because maybe he's also gay. He's like, what's happening? Uh, oh. Maybe it's like her feelings for suits like boiling and boiling. This is gonna like explode soon, you know. Like <laughs> she was like, oh, the girl. She was thinking things. I told you I was sensing a reading between the lines situation. I knew I was like, okay, the professor guy is really creepy, by the way. But like, oh no, oh no, if you're just like, she's gonna get exposed. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> oh, she's busted. Oh no. <laughs> Have I been knitting all day? Oh, girl, you need to get up. You need to get out of the house. Making a mockery of me and everything I stand for. But what do people say? What will they think of us? Well, then if they, I don't know. Is that what you want? I don't like that we're blaming her for this. To cut out these sort of antics. I suggest you re-familiarize yourself with its contents. You take it. No, no, no. I will actually well burn enough. it. Take it. I'll burn it. Don't take it. Yeah, me too. Me too. What a trash piece of work, please. Mom, I was sitting in a lecture hall. I wasn't hurting anyone. Emily, you need to apologize. No, she doesn't. Apologize? What matters is what your father wants. Oh my god! Shut up. Look around. I feel sorry for her. Every, and as long as you live under this roof, it is your job too. I don't like that. Mom, if you're mad about the maid, I am not in the habit of constantly expressing myself. That's your fault. Not her fault. Don't go and drag her for living her life, you know? Piss off. I don't like that. The mom is just afraid, I think. I think the mom's afraid. She's scared because now the maids come in and she's like, you know, questioning herself. She's like, oh my god, if the maids here, what? Like, she's like, she's bored. She doesn't know what to do because she hasn't wasn't taught anything else. This is what she was accustomed. She's been accustomed to this whole time. Now that the maids come in to pick, you know, to do do what she's doing, she's feeling worthless. She's like, what? What am I doing? Like, she's like, where? She's lost. And she's taking her insecurities out on Emily because she's like, Emily's, you know, can thrive, but she's like, no, no, it's the man's place. Like, honey. Get out there, do something! Like, I'll support the mum. She wants to explore and find her passion. Go for it! But, like, girl. Can you teach me how to make bread? Please. Girl, she's doing this to. Ugh! She's doing it because she. Mm. I get it, but, girl. Don't put your dreams away. It looks like a really nice loaf of bread, I'm not gonna lie. I hate the dad, man. Not even a thank you. Oh, the trash. I hate man. Girl. Ah! 
<laughs> no, shut up! Wait, so she's just sleeping in her room because they're besties. Like, they're not sleeping. We should not sleep with Austin yet. I'm in the same bed until they're married, right? Oh my god, no, it's the car- don't, it's the caressing on their collarbone, don't. Bitch, don't eat- <laughs> The whole city- They're so in love, oh my god. Covered in ash. That's how I feel sometimes. I know. And she's ready to burst. <laughs> but. I think I know what a volcano feels like. Sure. <gasps> oh! No, shut up! <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord, give me strength! Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Remember, I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing for screaming over this beautiful couple. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's gonna erupt, bitch. She is the volcano today. Now you have. <laughs> no! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> this whole room, oh my god. The, the rising of the bread, like, the volcano. It, listen. Listen. I'm feeling attacked. Oh my god! Why are they the cutest in the world, man? Why are they the cutest in the entire world? I'm sorry. Guys. Other gays, so other gays, okay. I need to ask y'all if you're okay after that episode because that was wild. This show. How have I. I'm actually kicking myself that I haven't watched this show before. Like, it's taken me this long to watch it. I'm kicking myself. This show, it's episode two. It's episode two. And I'm obsessed. I was obsessed in episode one. But, dude, seriously. What the hell? That was amazing. I've never seen volcanoes and, like, you know, she's... The volcano erupting, like, and when they were in the lecture, she was listening to the, what's his, the, the professor, you know, talk about it, or whatever, that's how she's like, that's how Sue makes her feel, like, you know, all her feelings bubble up inside, and then it erupts, like, come on, then they just, girl, that last scene with the, mm, do not even talk to me in this moment, because I'm gonna pass, I'm passing away, like, that was beautiful. It wasn't even about the sex, like it was, but it wasn't, like it was just, it, it was beautiful. And like, I just love the whole message this episode gave us, and oh my, it's amazing, the story is amazing, the acting, the chemistry, the writing, it, I feel, I feel, it's nice to have a show that knows what it's doing, and knows how to write an excellent story, you know. You don't get many shows like that. I just, I already, I have full faith in this show, in the writing. I, I have full faith. I, I'm, I, I, I'm ready. Like, I, I've, I've accepted. Like, this is going to be a show that changes my life. I know. I know it is. Man, that was incredible. I loved that. I just really, obviously, I know back then that's how it was, but it just makes me sad that, you know, you see Emily wants to, you know, learn things and just not be a housewife. And it was just so heartbreaking that she ends up, you know, learning how to make bread for her dad, whatever, because, like, you know, that's all she might be good for. I cannot wait till she finally realizes her self-worth. Like, it's, it's there. But, like, when you have everyone telling you, no, this is what you're supposed to do. And then the man, the father, writes that whole essay thing, a woman's place in the world or whatever it was. Like, really, sir? I'm sorry, no. Like, take it back. Burn it. I don't want to see it. 
Like, how do I gouge my eyes out? Like, I hate that. I The only man that we can stand at, at, at the moment, I think, is George. George is precious. He supports Emily. I love it. Okay? But what's what I'm just excited for is, like... I, I fully think Austin knows or has a feeling that Emily and Sue are more than friends. He has to. I think he may a little bit know. Maybe not. He could be dumb. I don't know. He's a man. He could be a dumbass. But, like... I don't know. But man, this episode was crazy. I loved it. Episode 2 just sent me the volcanoes. I'm not going to think of vo volcanoes the same. It's, I'm not going to see it the same anymore. I'm going to think of Emily and Sue now. It is what it is. Well, guys, that was my reaction to episode 2. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys for the next one. I love you all and ciao for now. Bye, guys.